Acumatica Returns and Exchanges. Acumatica allows you to efficiently process and manage returns to improve customer satisfaction while keeping costs low. Predefined procedures allow you to provide a credit, replace a returned item, or exchange items with one or more alternatives. In the return for credit scenario, the customer requests a return or exchange, then ships the item back to be received into the warehouse where inventory is automatically updated. Finally, the customer is issued a credit memo for the prior sale. In the second return scenario, a return for replacement, the customer notifies us of the defective item. They then ship the item back to be received into the warehouse where inventory is automatically updated and can be placed into a damaged goods location. Finally, the customer is shipped a replacement item for the prior sale. No financial transaction takes place as this is a replacement or exchange. In the third scenario, an RMA, the customer requests a return or refund, ships the item back to be received into the warehouse, and then the customer is issued a credit, a repair is made, or a replacement item is shipped. All three scenarios allow you to maintain your inventory and central documents in one location. Within Acumatica, I can use my order type screen to set up the workflow and options for my return processes. The return for credit option, for example, which I will demonstrate first, deactivates the issue operation and adds the option to create a credit memo. To demonstrate, I navigate to my sales order screen and I select the return for credit order type. I also select the customer who's making the return. I can add the goods to return by manually entering them as line items or I can simply select the associated invoice. I can select the reference number of the invoice and I'll add and close. When I receive the goods to the warehouse from the customer, I create the shipment and confirm that I have received the goods. After I confirm the receipt, the next step will be to create the invoice. In this scenario, the invoice automatically defaults to a credit memo. I can now issue and release this credit to the customer based on the workflow settings that we reviewed earlier. I have the option to print the credit memo or email it to the customer. Next, I will demonstrate how to exchange an item that is defective using the order type return with replacement. I add my customer and I select the associated invoice. For this transaction, I check the box labeled auto create issue so that once the defective item is returned and received, the new replacement item is automatically issued. When the customer ships back the defective product, I confirm the receipt of goods. I can receive the item and place it into a special area of my warehouse called returns. Also take note of the serial number that we are receiving back, 0008. When I retrieve the return order that I was working on, notice that the order to issue the replacement is ready. On my new shipment to the customer, take note of the brand new serial number that is going out the door. In this case, no financial transaction occurred as this was an exchange. In scenario three, the RMA scenario, I can accept returns and replace them with alternative items and or a credit. The difference in workflow is that after I have confirmed the receipt of goods, I can add new lines to issue inventory items. As I add more items, a new total will be computed. If there is money left over, a credit memo will automatically be issued in the amount of the price difference. Acumatica allows you to efficiently process and manage returns, improve customer service, teamwork, and returns visibility with our real-time data flow to sales, customers, shipping, and finance teams. Thank you for joining me today. For more information, please contact your local Acumatica reseller or email us at info at acumatica.com.